Apple has just revealed all of its details for its annual developer conference. Here's what you need to know, what we'll see, and what we won't see. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single thing from Apple's annual dev conference. And that is exactly what I am here to talk about in this video. Apple has made its annual developer conference, the worldwide developer conference official, and it's gonna be kicking off the first week in June. In this video, I'm going to tell you when it will be, how you can watch yourself, what to expect, and what not to expect. So let's go ahead and start this off. As I mentioned, it will be taking place the first week of June, starting on June 6th. On the first day of the conference, Apple will be holding its initial keynote presentation, which will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time, or 1 p.m. Eastern. During this video, Apple will be telling us all the great things that we can expect from Apple from its new software updates and hopefully have a few surprises in store for us. You can watch this keynote presentation yourself, just like any other Apple keynote. It can be streamed online, whether from Apple's official YouTube account, do not get scammed by the fake YouTube accounts that are out there. You can watch through the Apple TV app or through Apple's websites. And yes, I put some links down below in the description so you can use those to hop yourself there when the time comes to stream the event. So that's when it will be and how to watch. But what will Apple be announcing? The biggest thing to come from Apple's developer conference is going to be software updates. Apple will announce the next major versions of all of its software updates that will be public released this fall. So that means we're going to see iOS 16, iPad OS 16, HomePod Update 16, tvOS 16, as well as watchOS 9 and macOS 13. These updates will be packed with awesome new features for all of us to use on the daily. But besides that, Apple might have some other surprises thrown in in terms of software support. For example, we may see something like HomeOS. This has been rumored for a while and it could run on things like the HomePod as well as a new touchscreen type device where you could control your home. It may be a pipe dream for me as someone who likes the HomeKit space, but there are rumors that Apple has been working on something like this and it would make sense to debut at a developer conference. So something like that might be in the cards. But what we likely won't see is really any new hardware. Don't expect to see new iPhones or new iPods or new iPads or anything like even like new AirPods. If we do see any hardware at all, it's going to be a new Mac. And the best Mac right for the upgrade is the Mac Pro. Apple already told us that we can expect to see a new Mac Pro sometime this year. And a developer conference, which is its key audience, is a great place to debut it. Apple has also previously shown off bigger versions of its Mac Pro in the past at its annual dev conference. So it makes sense again that we could see either a sneak peek or a release of an upgraded super beefy Apple Silicon Mac Pro at the Worldwide Developer Conference. But that is still not exactly confirmed by any means. Software is a for sure thing, but hardware, it just doesn't happen at WWDC all that often. So otherwise, that's pretty much it. Apple's gonna spend a couple hours walking through the biggest new feature of its software updates, hopefully have some surprises between software and maybe, maybe, maybe hardware, but just don't expect it. And that's about it. The rest of the week, I'll be talking to developers and how they can update their apps to take advantage of the new features for all of us. So let me know what you guys think. What do you want to see most at Apple's annual developer conference? Let me know what you want to see at WWDC 2022 down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore of the OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.